So we've already seen the need of this formula because it's coming from Max Planck's uh, quantum theory. We said energy is energy emitted or absorbed is directly proportional to the frequency of the, the, the light or photon. Okay. Now I want to determine the energy of a more of a photon. So this formula is only for energy of a photon. So substituting the information that we have, our energy of a photon is going to be Planck's constant. Okay. So units are just seconds. Multiply by speed of light. The units are meters second. We are dividing by the wavelength. Um, five eight four times ten to the power negative nine because we want to take the nanometers to meters. So the units are meters. So meters second remain with the jaw. So remember this formula is energy of a photon. So grab your calculator and perform your calculations there. 6.626 by 10 to the power negative 54. Multiply by 3 by 10 to the power 8. Divided by 584 by 10 to the power negative 9. So the value that I'm getting is 3. Point four zero four by ten to the power negative nineteen joules. So remember, this is the energy of a photon. Now, in this time around, they want us to determine the energy of a more of a photon. So each time, the anything, any form of calculation can be reduced with a more. So we know that we are dealing now with our with our Vogadros constant. Which is 6.022 by 10 to the power 23. Okay, so more. So in this case, we are dealing with a photon. So a more of a photon should have. So how can I put this? Let me put it this way. Pay every more of anything. This time around, it is 6.022 by 10 to the power 23. What we're studying is we're looking at the energy. So for every more of a photon, we should expect that amount of energy. I think that's what we'd have to understand whenever we're dealing with this formula. So now I want to determine the, the energy that is going to be associated to every more. How basically do we get to deal with that? So... I'll start it like this. So we have six. I'll get the answer first of all. Three point four by okay, three point four zero four by ten to the power negative nineteen. That is jaws. So we have jaws per per every photon. Now I want to find our answer of the energy of a more of a photon. More of a photon. So we understand that the formula of a Gadros constant is 6.022 by 10 to the power 23. So it's always per more. It's always per every more. Per every more, they sh per every more, there is that amount of is that amount of energy. Okay. So in performing our calculation. Our result is supposed to be in jaws. So we we'll say we have that number of photons per more. So the photons will go and then you remain with jaws per more. So at the end of the day, we are just ending up multiplying the two. So, what answer are you getting?
So looking at this number of significant figures, I'll go for three. So 2.05 uh, by 10 to the power 5 joules per, per mole. So that's how you get to determine the energy of a mole of a photon using the maximum Maxwell Planck's quantum theory.